We are settling in really nicely to this house sit, and today you're gonna see a little bit more of life here. Uh, we do shopping at some pretty cool stores. We meet a new friend, and a little more of life in Hagenheim, France. Life is good. Loving it. One of our daily responsibilities here at the house sit is cleaning the pool, which is a, a no big deal thing, but something we have to do on a daily basis. So they have this robot, which basically does all the work, and all I have to do is put it in and take it out, and we do this once a day. We have access to two cars during this sit. You don't always have access to vehicles when you sit. Especially back in the States, it really doesn't matter so much to us, but it was fantastic to have the cars while we're here. We don't intend to drive them too much, but we have access to this large vehicle. This seat's like seven, so this is giant in Europe, and it happens to have an automatic transmission, which strangely, it was incredibly weird to put it into gear, so I, we're actually driving this uh, little, I was gonna say convertible, it's not a convertible, but it has a standard transmission, and I actually love driving this little thing. This is what we're gonna drive most of the time we're here. It's a Citroen, so I think uh, both of these cars are French branded cars, but we are excited to have the vehicles, and uh, this one is fun to drive. So it's been two whole days, and we're already back at the Lidl stocking up, and we've brought along a new friend. This is Louise. How do you do? <laughs> Louise, originally from Dublin, currently from Manchester, has been house-sitting around the world for the past three years. Uh-huh, yes, yeah. and enjoyed myself very much. She's been in Australia, Abu Dhabi, Spain, America, Belgium, mm -hmm. France. All and over the world. Wales. <laughs> Wales and Kent as well. Wales and Kent. <laughs> and we're house-sitting for two sisters. So Louise doesn't have access to a car. We go to the market all the time and we were more than happy to pick her up and bring her shopping. So we are done with our shopping yes. and we will spend more time with Louise this month. So you'll be seeing more of her. That's right. This is our second grocery store adventure, and so this place is called Hian, G-E-A-N-T, and there's an accent in there somewhere. Basically, it means giant, and it, it is indeed a giant store. So this is like a super Walmart, so I'm trying to find some Pepto-Bismol, and I can't find it. So anyway, lots of stuff here. Groceries, uh, lawn mowers, I don't know. They've got a lot fish. of stuff here. Fresh yes. fish. It smells like fish. <laughs> Our third stop is a stop to a store called Picard. Picard is a French store and it is only frozen food. Now what we're not used to in the States is it's supposed to be like the highest quality food. So it's not like second rate food. It's totally gourmet, but it's everything from frozen desserts and vegetables to full entrees and meats and like in their own sauces, it's their own branding. So I've been reading about this and wanted to try it out and there's one just maybe a mile from our home. So we're real excited to check this out. It is priced a little higher. So this isn't like a cheap thing. This is a good quality kind of experience. So we are going to maybe buy some things at Picard. So this card store is totally heaven. I have been wanting quiche Lorraine since we got here. We're in the Alsace Lorraine area, haven't had any quiche. Um, but while we're passing through, Tim's not gonna show because the glare is really bad, but there is Mediterranean food, there's Korean food, there's Chinese food, there's Thai food, there's Vietnamese food, there's Japanese food, there's Indian food and all of it is supposed to be delicious and all over the store there's a lot of French food so this place is really pretty cool. We are in love with crusty crocs so we got yesterday these are just potato chips but they're flavored potato chips so this is roasted chicken it tastes like roasted chicken yesterday we got uh, a mustard chip um, that tasted like actually it tastes more like Indian food and it's flavored with turmeric and so they're delicious and uh, Mirabelle here is uh, coming to check out what's going on. She's starving at all times, so she wanted to see what we had to eat. She's not starving for her food, only for her treats. That's right. We are going to run out of her treats. Exactly. 
So there's our day at our house, Sid. So uh, we enjoyed meeting Louise, and we spent uh, uh, about three or four hours with her today grocery shopping. So it's been great to get to know her a little better. She has a very inspiring story with her house sitting journey, and uh, she's going to join us for a Bastille Day uh, this Saturday. We're going to go to see fireworks in... Malouz. Malouz. And she's hilarious. There you go. Yeah, so we really hit it off with Louise. So also the chips, we definitely finished the whole bag of chips in one sitting. So, uh, they were so hopefully good. they do not sell those back home in the States. Yeah, we don't know if they sell those back home. Do they sell these rotisserie chicken chips, like regular like Lay's kind of potato chips? And then the mustard. I don't I don't like I'm not a big fan of flavored uh, potato chips unless they are uh, salt and vinegar so i don't like barbecue i don't like we actually don't buy um, chips at all we don't that's what maybe they Even sell if these they at do home. sell them at home we're probably not i gonna shouldn't buy know them, about it so is, i've never uh, had a potato chip uh, this unfortunately good. we're even though we're not officially in vacation mode we're still kind of in vacation we're not on vacation but we're in vacation mode, mode. so yeah, yeah so do they sell these uh rotisserie chicken chips at the regular store for regular price not at like the specialty british store or something and then also do they sell mustard potato chips these are the best potato chips I've ever had. No exaggeration. Um, the sec the thing also is, um, oh, what was the other thing? I have no idea. There was another thing. Oh, I promised four trips to four different stores. Uh, um, we actually cut that short. So we did our three trips to three stores. Uh, we showed two of them. We showed the parking lot of the first one, which was, of course, our beloved Lidl. And then the fourth one was like a bulk meat butcher. And you have to buy a minimum of a kilo, which is, I think, 2.2 pounds. We already have some, we, we have some meat that needs to be consumed that we bought. So we're not really ready to be buying over two pounds of meat. You got to have a plan for that and so and we don't have a lot of freezer space so we will be visiting the meat store when we're needing some meat uh, but that frozen picard whoa like that was super whoa. cool something else i wanted to point out and amy said we weren't going to talk about this but i made a trip to the pharmacist slash chemist today to find some stomach medicine and so something that we realized is we were in both the grocery stores today these are big grocery stores selling it seems seemingly everything they don't have things like ibuprofen or just simple uh, allergy drugs, medicine. Just allergy medicine. I don't even know if they had band-aids. I don't know. So, I didn't see. I lo we looked. Uh, apparently, the, uh, the the pharmacy slash chemist uh, business uh, they have a, a a monopoly here on on that sort of stuff. So yeah, we don't know if that's is that Europe wide? Is that just France? Is that just where we are? So have you been in Europe? And do they sell like basic over the counter medicines at? general grocery stores like they do all over America. And you I mean you could get that stuff at 7-Eleven and you don't even yeah. have to have a big store like anywhere you could buy some of those kind of basic medications. So we'd be interested to know that and hopefully Tim's stomach gets taken care of. As far as tomorrow, I think we're going to be a little more around the house. So we've been kind of busy for the past couple of days, a little busier than I think I'd like to be. So maybe let's see tomorrow, maybe you'll see more of the house. So uh yeah, so yeah. oh, actually this what we have coming on tomorrow is we have a house keeper come every single Thursday so she comes on Thursday so we're probably gonna get out of her hair and get up to something fun so please stay tuned tomorrow and we definitely will do a nice tour of the house because it'll be squeaky clean there you go. thanks for watching good night good night